Hello you guys, this is Sammy from HackerBad.net and this is my first advanced tutorial for how to cheat in video games using Cheat Engine. And if you're watching this then you either want to know how to use Cheat Engine more effectively to cheat in video games or you tried my first video, you followed all the steps and it did not work for you. Now today we're going to have a look at value types, alright? So that's this little tab right here. By default, value type is set to 4 bytes. Now, this is only one value type and as you can see there's a whole lot of them. Now if you're just scanning for 4 byte values, there's a chance that the game developer has saved a certain value such as your health or ammo or whatever as a different value type than 4 bytes and you will not be able to find the value, okay? Now, here's a few things uh, that we can do. You can either go with a few of the most commonly used value types, which is 4 bytes is the one that's most commonly used. Then we have double, which is used quite often. Float is used quite often as well. And yeah, that's about it. That's the ones that are really often used. There's some 2 byte values if it's a really short number but most of the time we have either 4 bytes, double or float, okay? Now, if you want to scalp, just scan for all values, which I would only recommend if you have a pretty high number that you can change around quite um, easily, okay? Then, if you set it to all, then you're pretty sure to find a value that corresponds to the, the thing that you're trying to cheat in or you know that you're trying to hack in any game. Now the problem about this is um, there's a lot of values if you're scanning for all and it'll take a lot of time and processing power, okay? So don't freak out if your computer slows down if you're doing this, alright? So I'm just gonna, gonna demonstrate this real quick. Now I would recommend that you choose to hack a value that is quite high. For example, my upgrade points in Batman Arkham Origins right here are at 94. That actually should do it. Now, all you basically do is, in Cheat Engine, you obviously set your value type to all, and then you type in the current amount of whatever you want to hack that you have right now. For me, that's 94, so I'm going to go for a first scan. As you can see, this takes a lot longer than if you were just to scan for 4 bytes, okay? And we come up with a lot more values, so 600,000. Now, if you don't have 94 of something and you just want to narrow down the whole thing a bit, I recommend that you just change it once, so as I'm going to do right now, I think I have some stuff that I can unlock right here, so now my value is at 93. Then you scan again for 93. Next scan. And here's a really important trick. Now, a lot of these values are just values that are going to change every second, okay? So a good thing to do is just to scan again okay without changing anything that way you will actually get rid of a few values that are just changing all the time now another way to go is you go back into the game and you change the you know just change some stuff around graphically and everything go back into cheat engine and scan again as you can see a few of the values have already changed again and now I have narrowed down my am amount of values from roughly 25 to 12 okay I'm just going to do this again um, maybe fly around or something here and go back into cheat engine and see whether something's changed okay no actually all the values are still the same okay now for in order to isolate the actual three values that correspond to my skill points I'm just gonna go back into the game and buy something again here we go here we go yes and uh, now I'm at 92, so I go into Cheat Engine, scan for 92, next scan. And here are my three values, okay? Now, this is kind of interesting. Here, down in the list, if you take them into the list uh, using the red arrow, you can see what types they are, okay? And here we have one value that is 4 bytes, one that is 2 bytes, and one that is just a byte value, okay? Now, this is... Um, kind of sneaky by the developers. They uh, probably knew that some people would try to hack uh, this game and uh, that's why they did this, okay? There's no practical reason why they would um, save those three values as different types of values, okay? So that's what 
they do in order to protect against cheaters. Now, in my next tutorial, I will show you how to find encrypted values, which is a little bit harder. I'm very sorry, but yeah, and it's it's not really common that developers actually encrypt their values, but it does happen in some rare cases. And yeah, I hope now that you've watched this video, you will be able to cheat whatever you want to cheat. And yeah, if not, well, just move on to the next video. And see you guys soon on HackerBad.net. Thanks for watching and God bless you.